To create this design, I am going to add a cylinder with 32 words. Rotate the cylinder into 90 degree. Apply the rotation and apply the scale. Go to the edit mode. Select this words and right click connect vertex pair. Select this faces and then E to extrude them. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the Z axis. Shift D to duplicate this object. Go to the edit mode, select everything and then press Alt S and scale it along the normal. Like this, turn on the offset even and give the proper offset. Then scale it along the X axis. Then Shift A mesh, add a cube. This is our cutter object. Scale it along the Y axis. Give the position here. Select this word and move these words along the Z axis. Select everything, move it along the Z axis. And then scale it along the X axis. Then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the boolean modifier and then delete this cutter object. Select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Select these words and control X to dissolve them. Select these words and press J to connect them. Then select these words and press J to connect them. Select these words and add 3D cursor to it. Shift A mesh, add a circle, rotate the circle into 90 degree and then scale it down like this. Now the arc is in this way and we need to re-edit this arc. Select this edges and just need to adjust their position. Select this words and just adjust their position like this. Hide this circle, we will get this kind of arc. Select these edges and use the set flaw on them to maintain the good curve at there. Now we have these two objects. Select this object, shift it to duplicate it and hide this. Select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. Then apply the boolean modifier. Hide this object, unhide that first object. Select these two objects and use the boolean operation intersect. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. Now we have this kind of design as you can see here. Select both objects, go to the edit mode, use the knife tool, press A and then press C and create straight cut like this. And similar kind of cut you need to create here also. Isolate this object, select this edge and dissolve it. Select this face loop and delete it. Select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Select this edge and Ctrl X to dissolve it. Use the knife tool and create straight cut along the Z axis. Then select this face and delete it. Select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Select this face and delete it. Select this edge and press F to fill the gap. Add one loop cut here. Select this edge loop and use the set flow. And then select this edge loop and press F to fill the gap. Add a center loop cut here, then control B, add bevel on it. Then I'm going to select some faces here. And then use the insert operation. Add a center loop cut here, control B, add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel. And then select this edge loop and press Alt S to scale it along the normal. Then select this edge loop and control B, add bevel on it. Then select this inner object. Select these faces, use the insert operation and move it along the x axis. Now start to create the topology for this. Select this edge loop, select this edge loop also. Then control B, add bevel on it. Shape factor should be 1, add a 2 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then select this edge loop and add bevel on them. Select this words, merge at last and dissolve this edge then create cut like this and just try to create a topology here then select everything mesh and symmetrize take the symmetry and then select this outer object and let's start to create topology for this select this edge loop
and control B add bevel on it. Give the proper bevel width. Then select this word merge at last. Dissolve this edge. Select this edge loop. This edge loop and control B add bevel on it. In this way, shape factor should be 0.5. Select this words and press J to connect them and then dissolve this edges and then press J to connect these words. Take the symmetry and then dissolve this edge loop. Connect these words and then dissolve this edges. And then hit Ctrl 2 to add the sub D modifier. Select this edge loop and Ctrl B add bevel on them. So this is how you can create this kind of design. You can see the design and you can see the topology. You can improve the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See so you next video. Take care.